Hey folks, it's Monday. Um, yeah, these ascension symptoms, they're not cute. <laughs> um, it's funny when I talk to other um, like-minded people and they're like, I'm having such a great shift. I'm having such a great experience. Like I'm so high vibrational. I can feel everything. I'm like, that is a projection. It's a mental projection. It's, you know how some people, they set a goal and they want to meet that goal. So they got to be very enthusiastic and so positive. Well, if you're really going through ascension, the process, you feel like crap. Like you really do. Like you, you're like me right now. You're tired. You're exhausted. You're you can't even explain. Uh, oh, I almost had like an Irish accent there for a second. You can't even explain why you feel such way. <laughs> uh, believe it or not, I'm 30% Irish. Um, but anyways, uh, I make sure that I sleep about eight and a half hours a day. And I feel like I have still not had four hours of sleep right now. That's the true ascension. You're just, you're tired, you're groggy. Remember like two months ago? I can say this right, two months ago when like you get out of bed and it was like, oh, everything hurts. Your bones were hurting, like you were like, oh. Now it's just like, you're just tired. Like it kind of feels like um, if anyone's taken like a prescription medicine for the first time, or medication that you really need for your health reasons, or like you took Benadryl because you're sick or whatever, it feels like the hangover from your medicine. <laughs> um, I can kind of explain why we are going through these ascension symptoms. Um, I have a few things I wanted to like bring up because when people think ascension, they're, they I think they get mixed up with the rapture and the Bible, and it is very similar, but ascension doesn't mean like you float, you, you go wee. Um, it's a process of the body breaking down its uh, ch chemical, biological, and molecular properties. Um, and then once those properties like reconform themselves, um, then all these different changes atmospherically, um, it will be like psh, nothing. Like you won't be affected by these different. Like if there's a, a huge climate shift, people who have been through the ascension process won't be uh, emotionally or physically affected because their bodies are already adapting. If you're becoming one with nature, you're a oneness with Gaia. You're oneness with the Holy Spirit. It's a whole trifecta effect, you know. It's a, it's a, it's a trinity. It, it's you, it's the earth, and it's the the divine, like all working, trying to find a balance. So once everything's on the same page, you've mastered the crystalline body, Holy Spirit, divine, Christ conscious, you know, superhero self. <laughs> such a mess isn't it it's just so much crap but it, it's a good it's a good mess um i like to just be frank with myself because trying to go around and being you know all who, who candy coated about it it doesn't really help my own personal journey um i like to be a little bit candid about it a little serious about it but yeah um and also too I think like the, the, the awesome thing about this is everyone fears the 5G towers and the 5 gig and it's like brainwashing and manipulation and all this stuff and and you guys like we have like the, the most uh, beautiful evolutionary process of all time. So what makes you think that we cannot survive, you know? I mean, we've all felt what 5G uh, energy feels like and what these 
green waves and infrared waves and, and you know, all that. We, we all felt it. When you, like, cringe in your stomach and you feel like, oh, I don't want to do this or that, and you surrender to it, that's what all that is. Or, like, if you say, like, I don't really eat cheeseburgers. I've been, you know, I've been a raw foodie for a long time, but then I just have the urge to... Arr. Yep. Anyways, I'm actually thinking of doing half raw uh, in my diet because I just feel like... Um, the only way that I can get through the rest of this ascension process uh, is eating foods that can help my body regenerate itself faster. And me being an athlete, it doesn't really help either because I'm just like freaking sore. And uh, my bones, my muscles, everything hurts. Everything hurts. It hurts to walk. It hurts to you know, sit down and eat. And then it's like when you're calm and collected and you're ready to just, you know, some people, we, yeah, we like to watch TV. You turn on the TV, but like the, the, the signal coming from the TV is making you feel jittery. And it's just, ugh. For me, I want it over. <laughs> and wherever that it can take us, please take me. Scotty, I'm ready to get beat. Anyway, so I hope I translated a lot because there's a, a, a various Veru channel, a Human Ascension channel, DNA Activation channel. Um, I just saw a Luna Ash like in my notification, so I assume she's talking about the same thing that I'm talking about. <laughs> Hi, Luna. If you come across this video. Um, it's pretty cool that, like, we get the same... That's how you know when people are really uh, aligned with, you know, it's like a, a daily newsletter, and you'll see that a lot of us have a common message. Not to toot my horn, but we're the ones to follow. I just like to keep it in a very raw way. That way you get a face behind everything. You get my real-life experiences. You get to see the uh, random horns that beep off cars, lights flicker, animals acting funny. I like people to feel what I go through authentically on a daily basis. Even like while I'm driving, I, I always make sure I'm safe as possible, number one. Um, I always try to make sure that my hands are free, you know, before people go tattletelling. But um, yeah. I just, um, I thank you all who stuck in there. My channel's not that popular and I really don't care. Um, it doesn't have to have thousands of viewers and this and that. I, I don't really care for all that. I know my time will come when it comes. But I also have to understand that my own personal journey, um, with that much attention towards all of this stuff and what I do career-wise they don't align so I mean I can't even imagine if like my human resources like saw these videos they would be like uh, uh oh change the schedule <laughs> anyways um, I love you guys thank you have a wonderful day um, I, I challenge everyone to try to edit your diet a little bit I like for me, I was vegetarian for three years and then I just couldn't do it anymore because all these different shifts and, and throwing our bodies into these different cosmic alignments, it wasn't really helping. My diet wasn't helping, but I'm going to be doing raw foods on top of my current diet, which is not in check. <laughs> anyway, have a good day. Um, I should have another message later on. I'm trying to think if there's something else I wanted to say before I go, but oh well, I'll catch you in the next one.